So the whole chapter is called uh, ser Sequences and Series. Today we're going to start 11.1 .1 with just types of sequences. And so the first one we're going to talk about is the arithmetic sequence. Sometimes referred to as progressions. And you're going to see a pattern. And this one, the pattern is going to be adding. Okay. And every time you see it, you're going to get a D. So D, if you're asked to find D, is going to be the common difference. Right, because adding and subtracting are inverse operations of each other. <coughs> so, um, for example, you might have 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, dot, dot, dot. You're going to notice that right here you have a difference of 3. So you would add 3. And then from 7 to 10, also add 3. 10 to 13, also add 3. 13 to 16, also add 3. If you have this dot, dot, dot at the end, it's called infinite. And if you, um, that means it's going to keep going and going and going, right? So if you have a finite, it's going to be limited or it's going to stop at some point, okay? But if you see a dot, 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 that means you can have as many as possible, okay? <clears throat> So when you're talking about sequences, sometimes they're going to write it in um, uh, as your inputs in your outputs. So you might have these little ovals, and they'll tell you you're going to have the first, the first item in your series, and then the second item, and then the third item, and then the fourth item, and then the fifth item, dot, dot, dot. Okay? Then it's going to have the outputs, and you're going to have a value that, okay, if you plug in one into the sequence, you're going to get out one. If you plug in two, you're going to get out two. If you plug in three, you're going to get out four. If you plug in four, you're going to get out eight. And if you plug in five, you're going to get out 16. So these all have a one-to-one, -one, what we call one-to-one -one correspondence. <laughs> and this one <clears throat> is what's going to be called a geometric sequence. Because on the outputs, between uh, 1 to 2 and 2 to 4 and 4 to 8, and 8 to 16, you're not just adding the same amount, right? You're actually doing what? Multiplying, Multiplying by two. 2. So times 2, times 2. Take the previous answer and multiply by 2. Okay, so this is like your domain. This is your range. <coughs> okay, which leads us to the gym. Bless you. The geometric sequences. So geometric sequences are going to have a constant ratio. And the pattern for this one is not adding, it's what? Multiplying. Multiplying. <laughs> so, 
So let's look at an example here. I'm going to move this up. You'll see it in just a second. There it is. All right. So example number one. The directions are going to say something like, tell whether the sequence is arithmetic, geometric, or neither. My orange is about to die. Okay, so sometimes you'll just be given a list of numbers, and then sometimes you'll be given a formula. So this one, I'm going to give you a formula, and it's going to look like this. T sub n is equal to 5 plus 4n. Okay, I've also seen it as a sub n equals 5 plus 4n. So the variable can switch. It just means you're going to plug in <coughs> you're going to plug in numbers for the n and then you're going to spit out to so if it helps you make a t chart. So you're going to pick numbers for n and then it's going to spit something out for a sub n or t sub n depending on how you see it. So start easy. Let's start with one, two, three, four. <coughs> so if we plug in one here, what's four times one? Four. Four. Plus five? Nine. Now let's plug in two. What's four times two? Eight plus five? Thirteen. Now let's plug in three. Four times three? Twelve plus five? Okay. And... Now let's plug in 4. 4 times 4? 16, right? And 16 plus 5? 21. Okay? So here's our sequence. And you can kind of ignore this column for a second and decide from here to here what's happening. From 9 to 13, 13 to 17, 17 to 21. Javen? Adding 4. Add four here, add four here, add four here. And we're going to assume that's going to that's keep happening, right? I mean, we could try some more numbers, but that's going to keep happening. So is this one arithmetic? Is it geometric or neater? Neater? Arithmetic, right? So this one's arithmetic. And if they ask you to find the D, what's the D? Four. Four is what we're changing by. Okay? Yes, sir? Um, can we just figure it out by looking at the... Sometimes you can, yes. Yes. All right, example number two. A sub n equals n squared. Same direction, so I'm not going to have you write them again, but basically you're going to tell whether the sequence is arithmetic, geometric, or neither. So let's make another t-chart. We're going to plug in some numbers for n. We're going to spit out some numbers for a sub n. And let's go 1, 2, 3, 4 again. Unless they tell you to use different numbers, go easy, right? Okay, so let's plug in 1. 1 squared is? 1. Now let's plug in 2. 2 squared is? Plug in 3. 3 squared is? 9. Plug in 4. 4 squared is? 16. Okay? So, like I said, ignore this column and look at the uh, from this column what is happening between these numbers from 1 to 4, 4 to 9, 9 to 6. So, from 1 to 4, you're adding 3. From 4 to 9, adding 5, 9 to 16, you're adding 7, so there's not a consistent, how about multiplying? Is there a way we can multiply to 
get from one to four? Sure, you could say times four, but how about from four to nine? Two point two blah 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 something. Okay, so is it arithmetic, arithmetic, geometric, or neither? Neither. Right. Example number three. <coughs> Sample number three, we have a sub n equals three times two to the n. Same directions. We're going to plug in for n, get our a sub n. Doesn't give us any specific numbers, so start easy with one, two, three, and four. Order of operations says you have to do what first? Multiply or exponent? Exponent. exponent? exponent, okay. So first power, two to the first power is two. Two times three is? Five. Oh, no, no. <laughs> two times three is? <laughs> Last time I checked it was six. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now let's plug in a two. Two to the second power? Four. Four times three is? 12. Now let's plug in 3. 2 to the third power? 8. 8 times 3 is? 24. Now let's plug in 4. 2 to the fourth power? No, sorry. sorry. That's too big. 16. 16, 16 times 3? 48. Okay, now let's see if we can find a pattern here. Okay, so from 6 to 2, anybody see a pattern? Times 2. I mean, you can try plus 6, but from here to here, it's clearly not plus 6, right? 12 to 24, bless you. 12 to 24, also times 2. 24 to 48, also times 2. <coughs> so this one is what? Geometric. And we're good. All right. Any questions on any of those three?